Hi folks, Chantel here from M Squared. I am a certified herbal practitioner and the product educator for M Squared. And in this video, as we do pretty much every fall, we are going to talk about natural ways to bolster your immune system throughout cold and flu season and the uh, best products to keep in your medicine cabinet if and when illness strikes your household. So um, building deep immunity means supporting our immune system so that we can recover more quickly from illness, so we can reduce the severity and the duration of symptoms, and best case scenario, we can avoid illness altogether. So starting with the most basic supplement you can take to stay healthy, uh, vitamin D3. So super obvious, everybody should know about this one by now, um, but it's worth noting that pretty much any supplement that says vitamin D is the D3 type. The only exceptions are vegan vitamin D, which is usually vitamin D2, which is typically derived from mushrooms or lichen. Uh, those ones need to be converted to D3 by your body, so the absorption is not nearly as good as it is with a typical D3 like this one from Landard. Um, this D3 comes from lanolin, which is an oil from sheep's wool. So even some people that are um, following a vegan lifestyle are okay with, with lanolin personal preference. So when you're selecting a vitamin D supplement, I cannot recommend enough to go for liquid drops. Uh, from experience, I've seen people who are tracking their D3 levels with blood work and the tablets do absolutely nothing. So it's really, really important to go with something that's suspended in a fat. Um, it really will make a huge difference. Um, not only is it better absorbed, it is way better value. So best bang for your buck. Uh, this little bottle here from Landard is 13 and a half milliliters and it contains 490 servings. It's amazing. So one drop is uh, of this one, which is the extra strength is 2,500 IU per serving, which in my opinion is a great dose for deep immunity. Um, you could do one or two drops of that this time of year to help support your immune system. Um, this one's also special because it's in a base of certified organic MCT oil from coconut, which is a lot more stable than your typical olive oil or sunflower vitamin D. Um, something we like to keep in mind because, you know, 490 drops, you're probably going to hang on to this little bottle for quite a while. So you want it to be as stable as possible so you're not taking a rancid oil. So when we're talking about herbs for immunity, we need to look at which herbs are good for prevention and which are good for treatment. So this is a concept that I talk about often, so you may have heard it before, but there are two types of immune system herbs. So we have surface immune stimulating herbs and deep immune stimulating herbs. The latter is what we're mostly gonna be focusing on today. Uh, so surface immune stimulating herbs is what we use when we're experiencing cold and flu symptoms because they quickly stimulate the immune system um, and cause a strong and fast response. So that might be your echinacea or even your oregano oil. Uh, deep immune stimulating herbs is what we use when we are preventing illness or recovering from illness. So these tend to be more restorative herbs than stimulating ones. They are rich in nutrients that help to balance out your immune response, to uh, work to reduce inflammation throughout the body and support hormone function to recover and maintain healthy energy levels. So deep immune support is all about illness prevention and many of the prevention methods are supportive of your overall health. So not only will your immune system be stronger and healthier, your energy and mood will be better supported as well. Uh, so another great reason to use these preventative methods is that the healthier, healthier you are, the more robust your immune system is and the faster and better you will overcome illness if you do happen to get sick. Uh, so these plants are basically plant source multivitamins that are food for your immune system. So some of the strongest deep immune stimulating herbs are in the family of medicinal mushrooms or also called functional mushrooms. They are, um, they are plentiful. There are lots to choose from. Uh, any trip down that row of your health food store, you'll see lots of different mushroom options. Um, but they are all a little bit different. Um, however, they're all adaptogens, which means they're tonics for all body systems and they work to increase resiliency to stress, whether that's physical or mental. Um, medicinal mushrooms are very rich in selenium, which is great for your immune system. They are also rich in B vitamins. They have naturally occurring vitamin D2, and they've got potassium and beta-glucan. So all of these things are key nutrients for immune support, for healthy inflammation, 
inflammatory function and for uh, stress resiliency uh, for physical and mental stress. Uh, so Optimi out of Vancouver, uh, this is a functional mushroom brand. Here, I'll show you this one that doesn't have the wrapper on it. It'd be a little easier to see. Um, so this is a functional mushroom brand that makes one-to-one -one ratio mushroom extracts in capsules, or uh, this here is their uh, protein powder. So the Optimi formulation, which is the one in this orange bottle, is a blend of reishi, chaga, lion's mane, turkey tail, and cordyceps. So this is really the perfect mix for deep immune support this time of year. Each of these mushrooms provides great immune support, but also support for all of other body systems. Um, another great product, that this one that I'm showing you here from Optima is their vegan protein. So this is their plant protein plus mushrooms. Uh, each serving provides 22 grams of protein, so it makes a great meal replacement. Um, they're all from vegetable sources. And in this, each serving has a full serving of their five uh, mushroom Optimi formulation. So it's two products in one. Uh, plus it tastes really good. It mixes really easily with your liquid of choice. I personally just mix it into cold water because I'm a little bit lazy when it comes to making smoothies and I like it just by itself. Uh, but you could certainly mix it with other, other fruits and other supplements too. So chaga mushroom is a mushroom that's largely touted as an immunity mushroom. Uh, Optimi does have pure chaga in capsules. It's a 500 milligram dose, which is a great daily dose for deep immune support this time of year. Uh, on its own, chaga is certainly a very powerful deep immune tonic, tonic, but I encourage you to read your labels because not all chaga mushroom products are created equal. So a couple of pro tips when you're shopping for a chaga product. Uh, tinctures are the most potent. So chaga is a really woody mushroom. So the alcohol in a tincture does the best job at extracting all of those medicinal qualities and giving you everything you need and nothing you don't, basically. Um, something that you should always look for when you're buying a chaga tincture is to check the herb to menstruum ratio. So if you look in the ingredients panel, there will be a little ratio, usually right after the, uh, the species of the plant that's being used, and that's going to tell you how potent that tincture is. Um, so one to one is the strongest. That means that one ounce of herb is used for every ounce of alcohol. Uh, some chaga tinctures that I've seen out there are one to 15, which means they're much more diluted. So that would be one ounce of chaga for 15 ounces of liquid. Uh, Suro makes the strongest chaga tincture. So it is a one to one ratio. It's the best and it's also wild crafted and organic. So it's sustainably sourced from Canadian forests. Uh, that's important with chaga as well because chaga grows really slowly and in very uh, specific environments. So we want to make sure that we're never over harvesting chaga. If you prefer to use the actual chaga mushroom, the chunks are the best. Suro sells them. They come in a resealable pouch. Um, I like these because they can be used a few times. I'm, I'm thrifty, so I love this product. Um, so they are uh, essentially these kind of woody chunks the best way to prepare them is to decoct them. So this means bringing your water to a rolling boil, adding the mushrooms and putting the lid on it. And you wanna let it boil or simmer for 15 minutes with the lid on. So you don't wanna take the lid off, that's important. Uh, let it cool with the lid on and then you can store it in the fridge, drink an ounce a day for immune support. The mushrooms are very dense, so you can actually decoct them a couple of times, usually two to three times. Each time you do your, deto your decoction, it'll be a little less uh, potent. You'll see that the color of the water is a little less dark, but it's still going to be effective. And uh, once they're spent, you can throw those uh, spent mushrooms in a mason jar with any clear alcohol, like a cheap vodka or whatever, and let it sit for a couple of weeks. The alcohol will extract any of the remaining nutri nutrients, and then you've got yourself a chaga tincture. So you can really get so much out of this one little bag of, uh, of dried chaga mushrooms if you're willing to put a little bit of effort in. Uh, colloidal silver is a natural remedy that uh, it's not always considered a deep immune remedy, but more of a surface one. But the real magic of colloidal silver is that it's both. 
Uh, it's good for both deep immune support and surface immune support. So Sovereign Silver, this one here, this is a 10 parts per million silver hydrosol. So um, in general, people would call this product a colloidal silver. Um, while all the applications are the same as a colloidal silver, it's, it is a hydrosol, which is slightly different because it is positively charged. So at best, most colloidal silver products contain only about 10% positively charged silver. Sovereign Silver contains 98% positively charged pharmaceutical grade silver, which makes it exponentially more powerful than other brands. Um, Sovereign Silver also has the smallest possible particle size and they do third-party tests to prove it. You can see images of it on their website. The smaller the particle size, the easier it is for the body to absorb and eliminate that, that silver. So on the deep immune level, since that's what we're talking about today, silver is a mineral that stimulates tissue regeneration and healing. It helps to keep the gut lining and all the respiratory tissues healthy, which is key to preventing illnesses. On the surface immune level, it's really effective at destroying viruses and yeasts and molds, which work to weaken the immune system, cause illness or cause allergies. So it has that kind of one, two effect, which is great. Um, when you're taking colloidal silver or silver hydrosol like sovereign silver, be sure to hold it in your mouth for about 30 seconds before swallowing. That's because it's really good for oral health and it starts absorbing immediately through the tissues in your mouth and throat, which has a lot of positive effect when we're using it for immune function. And if you were to fall ill, um, you could up that dose to a teaspoon three times a day until your symptoms are completely gone. So that's your surface immune support dose, one teaspoon three times a day. Your deep immune dose is just one teaspoon a day for, for prevention. Uh, Suro Breathe, which I don't have a bottle here, um, but I do have their elderberry syrup because it looks kind of similar, just different color label. Suro Breathe is another great deep immune remedy that also has surface immune herbs in it. So it is a blend of 17 different certified organic herbs. They are all remedies for the lungs and upper respiratory tract. And I love this one for treating and recovering from any respiratory infection. The um, shining star of this formula, in my opinion, is that the first and most prolific ingredient is stinging nettle. Stinging nettle is a nutrient-dense herb. It's essentially a multivitamin in plant form, and it has very potent antihistamine action. So it's uh, a great, um, a great kind of immunoregulating herb um, and a great deep immune stimulating herb. So some of the herbs in this formula are antimicrobial, so they can help to fight infection if it's present. And what I love about this formula is that it can be used preventatively or as a treatment for illness. Um, beyond cold and flu, this is a great remedy for allergies, for recovery after quitting smoking or um, smoke inhalation or asthma. Uh, it comes in capsule form as well, if that's your preference. I personally prefer the liquid. It's got a really nice herbal taste and it feels really soothing as you're swallowing it. There are aromatic herbs in the formula that um, that it's a real benefit for it to uh, come in contact with your upper respiratory tract. Um, the aromatic herbs in there help to relieve congestion in the chest and sinuses and help to soothe any irritation of the uh, nose and throat. So of course I can't talk about immunity without talking about Suro's elderberry syrup. Um, this is my favorite because they're organically grown in Quebec from the species of elderberry that is native to Canada. So it's uh, called Sambucus canadensis. This is important because this species of elderberry can be consumed raw. So whereas Sambucus nigra, which is the uh, species that's in pretty much every other elderberry product on the market, has to be cooked to be safe to eat. And unfortunately, cooking the berry also destroys a lot of its nutrients. So Suro offers a really distinct advantage by using the native species. And then in addition to that, from a sustainability perspective, using native plants or farming native plants is much better for the biodiversity of native flora and fauna than using an imported species. So in uh, Suro's elderberry syrups like this one, they are infused with apple cider vinegar, with honey, bee propolis, elderberry, elderberry extract, and echinacea tincture in the adult formula. 
Um, so we talked about mushrooms being deep immune stimulating herbs. By contrast, echinacea is a surface immune stimulating herb. So it's best used at the onset of symptoms and throughout the illness because it really kicks your immune system into high gear. It's meant for short-term use to remain effective. So echinacea is not something that you want to take all the way through cold and flu system or season because it'll actually kind of um, uh, exhaust your immune system. It's, it's just not how it's designed to work. Um, elderberries are really rich in vitamin C, which is great for immunity, but their big claim to fame is that they're effective against the influenza virus. So elderberry can significantly shorten the duration of influenza. Um, I personally like the elderberry concentrate, which is this one, it comes in a white box, um, for illness prevention. So for deep immune stimulation, I like this one. This is a uh, pure five to one concentrate of freeze-dried organic elderberries. So they have all the nutrients of a raw, unadulterated un elderberry. This product is good for everyone, including children and pregnant women. Uh, it can be taken on its own or it can be mixed into a beverage or a smoothie. And Soro has a really cute DIY gummy kit that contains one of these in it uh, where you can make your own elderberry gummies. These are awesome for supporting immunity. Plus they're fun and they're easy to make and, and kids and adults love them. Uh, so in addition to these remedies, another great tool uh, of ha to have in your arsenal this time of year is a collection of essential oils. So essential oils are another layer of protection for you and your household. Uh, diffusing your own blends or pre-made ones can help prevent airborne illnesses and allergies. And I talk about them all the time, but I love Divine Essence from Quebec. They are certified organic and best of all, they are NPN certified by Health Canada, so they are approved to put the therapeutic use right on the bottle. If they don't have an NPN certification and they're doing that, that is illegal, FYI. Um, so it is great, they are legitimate. They have really paved the way in Canada to legitimize essential oils as a true therapeutic health treatment in a very safe and responsible manner. So for individual, uh, herbal essential oils for immunity, I recommend diffusing any oil that is slightly camphorous, so that has that kind of slightly medicinal smell. So things like eucalyptus, ravensara, or rosemary. Um, with eucalyptus, there are literally hundreds of species of eucalyptus in the world, and Divine Essence offers several different species in essential oils um, because they are all a little bit unique in their medicinal properties and their application. And that's where that NPN certification really serves us because they can put right on the label uh, which species is best for what ailment. So um, for illness prevention, I personally prefer eucalyptus blue gum, so the, the Latin name for that is eucalyptus globulus. I like this one because the fragrance is a little softer for diffusion, so I, I prefer that smell in my home. It doesn't smell quite as, as medicinal, um, but it has all of those benefits of um, like antimicrobial action, antifungal action in, in the air still. For illness treatment, I go for the eucalyptus radiata because that one is, is definitely more camphorous. It's got that stronger, more medicinal antiseptic smell and it's got even stronger antimicrobial properties. So love eucalyptus radiata for sickness, eucalyptus blue gum for prevention. Um, eucalyptus in general works to thin uh, mucus so it's a great decongestant. That's kind of why it's used for that. Uh, Ravensara is another favorite of mine. It is also a camphorous essential oil that is really great for disinfecting and uh, decongesting, so it's a great oil for diffusion or for steam in inhalation. Um, I think it combines really nicely with tea tree oil if you need a little extra oomph, like if you have fallen sick. Um, it can also be made into a DIY chest rub by mixing it into a carrier oil and applying a thin layer to the chest. Um, even better than all of those things is to use the prana blend from uh, Divine Essence. So this is it here. It's got a little green label on it. It says uh, breathe prana on it. So this is a great uh, diffusion blend. I love this one. It's got uh, eucalyptus radiata, naoli, cineal, rosemary. Uh, all of these are invaluable herbs to help fight or prevent respiratory tract infections. It's also got peppermint, fir balsam, ravensara, and palmarosa. So it's got a really kind of fresh, pleasant, minty, kind of uh, outdoorsy tree-like smell that helps to clear your lungs and make you feel invigorated. 
Um, it helps to ease cold and flu symptoms and it helps to prevent infection. And especially this time of year, it smells very woodsy and, and nice. So you can add a few drops to your diffuser to help uh, clear those illness causing microbes from the air. It can also be used to ease congestion and aches and pains in a bath by diluting it in another carrier oil like grape cedar or jojoba or whatever you prefer and adding it to bath water. Um, you can also use this one as a chest rub if it's diluted in a carrier oil. So it makes a really nice option for both deep and surface immunity. And you know me, I love a multi-purpose product. So it really kind of hits both of those marks for me. All right, that's all for now. I am wishing you good health throughout this cold and flu season. Uh, if you have some home remedies that you love for cold and flu season or for deep immunity, let me know, drop them in the comments, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in.